Well, the sand fire right now is still growing tonight. It has now chewed up more than 35,000 acres, and it remains only 10% contained. Most of the evacuation orders were lifted tonight. However, 18 homes have been destroyed. The sand fire is burning across a 52 square mile area. It has forced some 10,000 families from their homes. We have live team coverage tonight, but first let's start with KCAL 9's Andrea Fujii in Santa Clarita. Andrea. Elsa firefighters say the weather has really helped them tonight. Temperatures and the wind has died down to help in the firefight. 3,400 fire personnel are here working the fire. Now we're at the command post where fire trucks are on the standby, ready to go. Flames are still burning in Soledad Canyon near Agua Dulce, but this is not the roaring inferno that firefighters saw over the weekend. A majority of evacuees were allowed to return home, but some, like homeowner Ralph Casenza, was turned around, not knowing if his home is still standing. A little concerned <laughs> because uh, we're like 500 yards from the Disney Center, and they said some of that burnt. Down Soledad Canyon near Acton, the Bright family's market and home in the back were spared. It's all flames. It's like 70 feet high. Mel Bright says everything around their property burned, and her husband was caught in the middle. I got to where I couldn't see, and I realized it was getting hard to breathe. Firefighters managed to get him to safety. Um, please go get my husband because I can't live without him. Then they say somehow the fire jumped their property. Their home, their chickens, and their store was spared. I was hysterical because it was, oh, it's so surreal. A day later, with no power, they decided to still open their market as a way to say thank you to firefighters. All of this is just a material thing, but our life, it's, we can't replace it. And for those homeowners who weren't able to go home tonight, firefighters say there's really no timeline as to when they'll be able to return. Jeff and Elsa, back to you. 